everybody. My name is Mike Connell, Boston Making the Difference. You're here with us today on BMAD Spotlight. And today we have with us our guest, Susie Berg, lifestyle coach uh, with Octavia uh, out of Sharon, Massachusetts. Susie helps a lot of people uh, live better lives. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today with Susie. Susie, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and Octavia and how you got started and so forth. Okay, sure. Thank you so much for having me on the program. Uh, I, I found uh, Optavia three years ago when I was just looking to lose weight for my son's um, Really didn't ever use a program before and I tried on my own, uh, like many of us do, uh, but to no avail. I didn't really have any success. And um, just about the same time that I was trying, I happened to learn about this program. Uh, it's a health and wellness program. And I decided to give it a shot. Um, I had nothing to lose except 30 pounds. Um, and the program was great. You get a free health coach. And uh, that's what really what drew me into it, because uh, I really needed the support of a coach. Uh, and within about four and a half months, I had lost my 30 pounds. My husband came along with me and he lost 45 pounds. And what we realized, or what I realized is that it's, it's a lot about mindset and, uh, and you know, mental health, as well as your physical health. Uh, and I felt better than I had ever in my adult life. And I just, just didn't want to go back. So um, I wanted to help others and pay it forward. So I became a coach uh, just about three years ago. And I've been helping dozens of people around the country to uh, get to a healthy weight um, and to develop healthy habits. And it's really about um, just being the best version that you can be. So I've, I've had a, a wonderful time just, you know, um, leaning into where people are at and just helping them, helping them um, live healthier lives. That's great. Uh, you, you could tell your husband that those 45 pounds that he lost, I found them. Uh, oh, if, no. If he'd, like, <laughs> if he'd like them back, you know, he, he, he can have them. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just teasing. But uh, that, that sounds great. Now tell me, how has life changed for Susie Berg, the lifestyle coach during this, uh, you know, uh, time in history, this unprecedented historic event that seems to be going on worldwide. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would say both on a personal and a professional level, it's been a huge challenge. Um, you know, I'm, I'm human just like anybody else. Uh, so I have definitely needed to uh, really, uh, stick to the structure that I, I have had in my life for the past three years. Um, and that means uh, sticking to my healthy habits. I'm lucky that I was able to practice these habits and um, just maintaining them uh, you know, is, comes natural to me, but I, you know, it certainly has been a challenge uh, having um, college age kids home and having a little more junk food around than, than I'm used to. So, uh, definitely having to really um, think about, uh, be mindful of my choices and um, sticking to my health goals uh, has been first and foremost. With regard to my clients, it's been, it's been really tough. Uh, so what's about our program and about having a health coach is that we provide um, like a safety net around our clients. So uh, I'm, I'm right there, you know, in contact with my clients all the time, although I do have an active clients who I've reached back out to, um, to provide that support. Uh, we also have, we have a big community, um, you know, thousands of people across the country are, are, are doing this program. The program has served about 1.5 million people so far in its, um, 18 year history. Uh, and uh, we tap into the support of that community through private Facebook groups and weekly calls and webinars. Um, so it's, it's just a matter of reminding our clients that there are those supports and to really take advantage of, you know, coming onto the calls um, or catching a recording when they can. Um, and 
I've had, we've had to be creative as coaches, you know, to um, come up with ways to get more motion into people's day, you know, where they can't, you know, you can certainly walk outside. That's what a lot of people are doing, walking or running outside or doing an in-home workout. But beyond that, there are many ideas of how to get motion into your day um, just to keep your, your steps up and, um, you know, your calories going out. Um, and then just to be really mindful of, uh, of where, you know, where you, how you'd like to come out of this pandemic, uh, you know, and unfortunately a lot of people, um, are addicted to sugar and, and gravitate toward carbs and, and quick sugar as, as a comfort food. So it's, it's, you know, a way reminding people that there are other ways to reduce your stress and to get that stress out. Um, but, it, you know, we've, we've really um, had to kind of ramp up our support. Now, what are you generally finding is the, you know, the mood out there with, with your clients? You know, how are people, you know, uh, taking this? Uh, and, you know, what's their outlook as far as you can tell? You know, some people are, are in a, granted, are in a very difficult situation. Most of us are, uh, you know, some, more dire than others. Um, so people are in survival mode in, you know, in many ways. Um, what, what I think people don't realize is that just by uh, adopting a healthy habit, just by focusing in on just one thing that you do each day and just try to make some very small incremental progress, you know, just 1% better a day um, can really uh, put you on a path um, of progress. You know, it doesn't have to be perfection. So, you know, it's, it's trying to help people see that, you know, we're all in this together, but just by taking these baby steps, it can just, it, it, it can help relieve that stress, help them feel better physically, which is going to have a, a, um, an effect on their mental health as well. And, um, and to reach out, reach to somebody, to, you know, I'm, I'm happy to coach people and have, have people, you know, come to me for help, but, you know, you can reach out to a friend or to a sibling and, you know, anybody in your life, uh, and have that person serve as an accountability buddy, uh, you know, just work together. And once you share your goal with someone else, it kind of, you know, makes you, you more accountable to plan. So, um, you know, I realize that there is a lot of stress out there and, you know, desperate desperation, but, um, you know, just realizing that you can just take one step, uh, you know, whatever that is, um, can really help you feel better. Last thing I think, maybe you could give one, two or three tips for people you know, things they can do nutrition or exercise wise to take from today's uh, talk, you know, to start implementing things in their lives. And then mm -hmm. uh, tell us also how, you know, uh, the audience can get in touch with you. Okay. So I do have some practical tips that I would love to share with everyone. Uh, one thing that we find is uh, with eating, uh, to, instead of getting into the habit of grazing all day and you know, eating the wrong things. If you can focus on putting a little structure into your day and creating um, meal times throughout the day, like every two to three hours, fueling your body with something healthy, you know, uh, and, and plan it out, write it out at the beginning of the day. Um, the, once you create a plan and you write it down, you have the accountability that you, you wanna stick to that plan. So uh, that's one suggestion, and to you know create to every two to three hours some healthy food that you can eat. Um, so that's that's one thing. Uh, hydration is really important. Um, getting the proper hydration helps you have clearer thinking. It flushes out toxins. You can just feel better. Your body really relies on uh, on water for so many things, so many functions. So. Really, wherever you are, you know, with water, you know, whether it's 16 ounces a day or 32 ounces a day, just try to increase it by one water bottle. 
Um, having water bottles placed in different rooms can help um, so that you always have it with you. And um, again, um, keeping track of how much water you are drinking can give you a measure of how you're doing. And then you know, you know where you're headed. Like, you know, you can see the progress. So that can help you feel like you're making progress. If you can just even just have five extra ounces each day, think about by the end of the week, you know, you've really increased your hydration. Sleep. Sleep is very critical. Uh, so many of us are, are having issues with, with sleep. Um, try to have a, a one hour before your bedtime uh, to power down your, all your screens, lower the lights. We call it a twilight hour. It helps your body to kind of get in the mood and um, you know, try not to watch the news or anything disturbing uh, before you go to bed. Um, and, and also just turn off the news. You know, we, we know it's bad out there. We don't need to keep thinking about it. And um, that can really keep you up at night. Um, but having a twilight hour where you're just powering things down and, um, you know, read a book, pick up a book, maybe pick up a journal or a piece of paper and just write down your thoughts before you go to bed. Maybe write down your to-do list for the next day. That way it's, it's off your mind and uh, that can also help you um, get a good night's sleep. Try not to eat before you go to bed. Definitely not. Um, you know, our, our bodies need time to have... Our, our digestive system needs a break at night. And uh, if it, it's just a, a, a poor eating habit is to just get, get those calories in at night. And if you're eating every two to three hours and having healthy food, you'll probably be less hungry at night. And uh, you'll be able to just stop at a certain time, seven, eight, or nine, you know, and just don't eat right before you go to bed. Um, that, and, and really try to get... Um, Try to get seven to eight hours of sleep. It will have a, a huge effect on your, on your physical and mental health. That's great, Susie. Uh, I, I checked off the box all of the above on things that I need to do, you know, for myself. Uh, yep. you know, it's, it's not easy, you know, when, when you're home all the time, those snacks call your name out. And, you know, uh, it's easy to slip into that habit of watching TV and, you know, just bunch of them on snacks that you don't really need, but uh, mm -hmm. because they're there, I always say, if they're not there, you won't eat them. But if they are, you will. <laughs> and I, yeah. I'm guilty of don't that. Put them you know, in your, don't put them in your Instacart order. <laughs> uh, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, you know, uh, we're going to see each other again on uh, May 7th, Thursday, May 7th. We'll have a networking event. Uh, uh, online as uh, they've all been lately with Boston making a difference. It's May 7th at 6 p.m. Uh, Susie's going to join us and uh, you know share some tips with the audience. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what we can look forward to seeing and hearing on May 7th? Sure. So I have lots of other practical tips that have to do with all of the habits, all of the healthy habits uh, that we can work on. Uh, so I'm happy to share more of those and, um, you know, take a look at the mind back. That's huge because it was all about mindset. Uh, and, you know, giving a little bit more information about what I do as a coach and, and a little bit more about my program. Um, I'm just indebted to this program of Optavia for helping me turn around my life, really transform my lifestyle. And, you know, I did, had no idea I would become a coach. So I can't tell you how much this program means to me. And I'd love to share how people can get connected with the program with me. I'd be happy to help people out. Um, and if you would like to get a hold of me, um, you can email me at susiebergwellness at gmail.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me and uh that's excellent excellent yeah. so I, I totally appreciate everything you you said today it's a uh, i'm sure the audience can walk away and say i need some some changes that i can you know easily do right now it takes a little willpower but uh with determination we can all do that i love the hydration 
uh, comment. You said, I drink Kangen water daily. I drink about a gallon a day. And uh, it makes a big difference in how you feel, you know, being hydrated. They say dehydration is one of the uh, leading causes of health problems. So, uh, you know, drinking water is, you know, is huge. Uh, people need to do that. So, Susie, I thank you so much. And, uh, you know, this is our second uh, episode for uh, Be Mad Spotlight. And I appreciate you taking the time to come out today and, and join us. Thank you, Mike. Really appreciate it. Okay. Take care now. See you, everybody. See you on May 7th at the networking event.